hey kids, did you just respond to that? Then you shouldn't be listening to this podcast. Start the episode! Here's something weird that just happened before I came over here. Sure. All right. I went to go get the mail before I came over here. I have a set of keys that just like the miscellaneous keys that go to the mailbox and storage and shit like that. Yeah. I went and got the keys, went over to the mail. As I'm walking back, there's this kid who's just walking through the little parking lot and I'm swinging my keys like I'm a fucking like old school police officer. Like, oh, nothing to do here today. He walks up to a car, tries a handle looks at me swinging my keys and I look at him because I'm walking his direction he goes like he gets like a oh shit face and immediately starts rushing away and I'm like what are you doing <laughs> are you trying to break into this car <laughs> in the middle of the day okay it's like it's not mine I don't fucking care what you do with it I'm going home <laughs> but I just love his face because all you hear is the door and you you know that sound when the door doesn't open and you let go of it so the handle smacks back yeah. it's like doo, 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 and it's like Oh fuck! That's a guy that owns it. He's swinging keys. He looks pissed and just <laughs> rushes away. It's the key man. Yeah, he has all the cars. I have all these. I run a dealership and I have all the cars that sit in this lot. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was funny. All right. On that note, uh, welcome to hear about this. I'm Bryce. Hey, I'm Derek. Uh, and this is a podcast about stories. We're not reporters. We're not historians. We're just guys who like stories, and like to tell Weird stories. stories. Um, uh, this. So you want to just jump right into? Yeah, it? Uh, but I say right. might as well. We're starting with one of the main stories then. Yeah, I'm gonna oh. start with one of the main ones. Um. Uh, hey, Derek, did you hear about this? Did you hear about the Great Molasses Flood? <laughs> Does it take place in Canada? Uh, no, kind of close. So it's Boston. Oh, okay. But compared to us, it's close. Okay. Um. So, there's several names for this, what happened. It was the Great Molasses Flood, the Boston Molasses Disaster, Great Boston Molasses Flood, or the Boston Molasker. I like the second one. I like. I don't know why Molasses Molas- Massacre. Molasses Disaster. Disaster. I thought you said Massacre. Oh, no, the the last one's Boston Molasker. Molasker. Fuck. <laughs> that was I, just somebody who was trying to think of something complicated to say. He's like, fuck it, let's put them together. I, I, I'm not sure why I like Malasker so the much, Malasker. but I love Malasker. Get the new Malasker, ter- Malasker t-shirts now <laughs> on sale. Um, so uh, this, it's January 15th, 1919. Damn. Um, it's at the Purity Distilling Company in North End, Boston. Okay. Uh, Massachusetts, for those who don't know where Boston is. Um, the temperature, this is in, remember, in January, uh, has risen above 40 degrees. Okay. Uh, the days before this, it was single digits. All right. And just suddenly it spiked. A spike to a mean 40 degrees. It spiked 30 to 40 degrees in one day. Yep. Um, I wish it was 40 degrees down here. They believe that this sudden spike was what caused the 2.3 million gallons of molasses <laughs> to burst out of its storage tank at noon. So, so how far did the molasses get? Did it only affect the factory, or did it affect surrounding areas? It's, it was a big... I'm going to keep going for a second, mm-hmm. and you'll see how fucking massive amount 2.3 million gallons is. Do you think somebody always imagined... Like, there was a crazy guy here, he's like, I knew this is how I would die, and fucking molasses <laughs> just takes him over. <laughs> There's people sitting on doors, like Titanic, like, don't let go, and they slowly seep into the molasses. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, witnesses say they felt the ground shake mm-hmm. and heard a roar when it collapsed. Others was like a crashing, a deep growl, like a thunderclap. Mm-hmm. Um, and the craziest one to me is that it sounded like machine gun fire as the rivet, rivets came out of it. I'm like, that seems very cartoonish. <laughs> <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Like, all right, I don't... That... <laughs> the shoot molasses bullets, run for your life. So, the wave of molav- molasses. Molasses? At the, at the at his peak was twenty five feet. Shit. Yeah, it wasn't. That's not. You can't swim in that. Nope. <laughs> You're drowning no matter what. It moved at thirty five miles per hour. 
That's that's fast. I remember it's hot molasses. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's like uh isn't there like an Indiana Jones movie where like they're running away from like lava and somebody gets like stuck in and they just fall into it? Except it's steaming hot molasses. Yeah, it's molasses. Um the force of the molasses tipped over a streetcar, which is and the list of things I have here, it when I was going through researching this, it seemed like the, the, the least like why did you name this one when the next one is like it swept away buildings? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck did you just tell me about the streetcar? <laughs> like, it tipped over a car. Wow, that's pretty serious. And it took away a building. You should... should okay, leave, that's the lead. with that one. Yeah. Go but with like, that first. I just... I kept it in... I... I... I <laughs> what? And then the last one was it threw a car. It didn't push a car. It threw, threw a it. car into the Boston Harbor. A truck. So I imagine, like... It, I imagine, like, it took the car away. It slammed, made a wave, and tossed this car. Yeah. So it taught... It was... It wasn't a car, it was a truck. Oh, a truck. Well, I think it was my, like, a semi. Oh, Big okay, thing. then they had it. So Insurance it, doesn't cover that, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you got a uh, fire. Water. This isn't water. Yeah, it's not technically. Yeah. Uh, so several blocks were flooded up to two to three feet That's of molasses. Um, I'm going to have, have a quote here from the Boston Post, like, mm-hmm. shortly after this happened. Uh, molasses waist deep covered the street and swirled and bubbled around the wreckage. Here and there struggled a form. Whether it was an animal or human being, it was possible impossible to tell. Shit. Only an upheaval, a thrashing of the sticky mess showed where the life was. Horses died like so many flies on sticky flypaper. More... <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that just Yet, looks funny in my head. The more they struggled, the deeper in the mess they were ensnared. Human beings, men and women, su- suffered likewise. It's it's fucking quicksand. Yeah. It's quicksand, except it tastes delicious. Yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong. What happened here, it was terrible. 21 people died. 150 people were injured. But, like, at the same time, decades after this hap- happened, on hot summer days, it's like, smell it's molasses. Like, you smell the molasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's still, their history comes back every hot day. It's like... Ah, that's the dark times, back yeah, when the have, molasses attacked. Yeah, they have, like, a plaque on it, like, talking about, like, what happened there, but I'm like... What color is the plaque? It's it's a normal, like, plaque. And... So is it, like, brown, like, molasses? <laughs> they don't have, like, reminders of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's mo- Welcome to Molasses Day. What day was that again? Something, 1919? Uh, January 15th. January 15th. Never forget. Never forget. <laughs> Never forget. Molasses days. So, yeah, this is, like... So they used... The molasses they had... Uh, was for alcohol. Oh, okay. So the letter formant for like and mixing the, and stuff. Yeah, that's still two. They had two point three million gallons in one tank. I'm like, why the fuck? Do you need that much? <laughs> but there, if it, that's con- if if a little bit of that's contaminated, all of it's contaminated. Pretty much. So I, I'm still amazed they had that much in one container. Well, you gotta imagine this is this is 1919 health regulations probably weren't as big they probably had yeah. flies and shit and they're like it's fine just go around it you pussy go on <laughs> what are you <laughs> just scoop around yeah it. exactly eat no you eat the flies it's protein take it with you we have alcohol in it it'll clean it true yeah so you gotta think like you're you're a guy from 1919 they didn't give a shit back then <laughs> They, fuck, they weren't they were worried really about carbs and <laughs> diet plans and shit. They were like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna." These are the people who smoked on airplanes when they got the chance. They don't care. These are the ones that were like, they they were like, these th- cigarettes are now thicker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would like all my stuff smothered in butter, please, and fried. You're telling me that I can just that you I shouldn't put just straight butter on everything. <laughs> As I had, I made this pizza over here just sticks of butter on it. <laughs> okay, I know, I know, I know. We tried to stop talking about like other TV shows. Remember that episode of Family Guy where they went back and it was like the fifties or something like that. And he was like, "Of course, I want cigarettes in it. Why wouldn't I?" <laughs> it's like that. I was so, oh my! That and probably they weren't the technology for like separating huge amounts of stuff. Yeah. They're probably easier for them to move it all in one piece than keep yeah. it separate this- at that point. If you're wondering, yes, this did lead to new regulations on how to store what a stuff. Thought. <laughs> so now they have like proper storing things for the for. I'm not even sure if they still have this there. I should probably I'll look it up. But they this went to uh, if, if it's there, it's probably like a historical site now or something yeah, like that. It was purity. It's just for show. Stealing. 
They sell little bottles of molasses. Uh, <laughs> I feel like, but they're from, <laughs> but they're from like a different state. They're like made in such and such, but they sell them there. Like when you go to Washington D.C., you get stuff like the Washington Memorial and uh, sorry, monument, mm-hmm. and it's uh, made in China. <laughs> it's like oh, I guess so. Yeah, looking over this, it it said oh, the only thing on Wikipedia about the Purity Distilling Company mm-hmm. was this. Oh, okay. There's nothing else. <laughs> it's it's like the sh- it's one of the shortest Wikipedia pages I've ever seen. It's this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the location. It was. It talks about the disaster, and that's it. Oh, so I'm not sure if it's still there. Bryce, can can I go off track real quick? When don't we? I I, I know, but you just brought up Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, I was looking at Shaft on Wikipedia. Okay. And you know how there's like a. Like when you go look at movies, it says like reception. How, how like re- reviewers made it. Mm-hmm. This was reception, but not for any of the Shaft movies. It was just for Shaft the character. Okay. All right. And I went, oh, okay, that's a weird thing for a human character being. Okay, cool. I clicked it. It was one line. Was like most people like Shaft, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I guess you're right. Most people do love Shaft. It's you pretty know, good. <laughs> my review. I like Shaft. Yeah, he's pretty nice. That's nice a- guy. <laughs> Seems, I feel like I would drink with him in like a bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, I just remembered that from the other oh, day. God, Back I, to molasses. No, I just, I just oh, that goes to me makes me think. I just love like the small, subtle things on mm-hmm. Wikipedia. It's like that, or just like location it was like, like that one was like it was uh, bought in 1917, and that's all you need to know. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. You're done. What Do your history make? report on that, kids. <laughs> Honestly, we need to do an episode just where we look up like weird wikipedia articles because you can find some weird shit on there um i have not not this episode Mm -hmm. listeners but a different one uh i was doing research on one where on this one subject Mm -hmm. and i got an entire different story out of it so (laughs) i'm like during that one i'm like wait just wait a different i'm gonna more detail about that we'll do that one sooner rather than later yeah so yeah this is man this is one of those things where, okay, it killed 21 people. Yeah. You think the molasses was sentient and it knew it. It's like, oh, that's 21. That's blackjack. I'm done. <laughs> didn't do uh, anything else. Uh, I'm going to pass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm good. <laughs> Hold. I'm good. There's going to be complaints, but like, my, my great, 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 great grandfather died in that molasses attack. Like, oh, oof. man, I bet he smelled delicious. Yeah, exactly. No, the worst part is, you think that's kind of like, because it's so thick, it's like a... Remember in Jurassic Park how they got the mosquitoes out of the fossils because it was like preserved? Mm-hmm. You think people who got stuck in molasses were preserved? I, <laughs> I mean, where they were. I mean, at one point like it was hardened. twenty-five feet. So, well, I think I don't think molasses. So, how they cleaned it up? Mm-hmm. They had a because it was right near the water. Mm-hmm. They, they just had, pushed it in. Did they, they just they pushed had, it in. Well, some of it they did. A lot of it they used sand and stuff to break up mm-hmm. the substance. But they had a boat that had they shot salt water at it. <laughs> Just for, it took like days, and then no it, shit. It's yeah. It's over three feet of fucking molasses. Over wait, you said twenty five feet. The, the highest when it was at its peak when it was during the big wave was twenty five feet. Shit, that's a lot of molasses. You need you need a lot of stuff to clean that up. You're like, did you shove it into the water? I'm like, it was 1919. Yes, they, they did. They the don't water. care about the environment. They don't care about anything else. Just getting it out of there. I remember I was watching a thing about nuclear waste, and apparently they just dropped nuclear waste barrels in the yep. fucking harbor of some place. It might might be Boston, actually, too. And it's like, wow, that seems really dangerous. And then they cut to the guy who did it. He's like, yeah, we didn't care back then. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes it so much <laughs> fucking better. Yeah, because nobody, like, because back then they're like, oh, this is dangerous. Let's just get away from us. Yeah. It should be safe then, right? At least with molasses, you can at least, it'll dissolve in the water and go yeah. away. Either that or like bottom feeders or eat it. I bet that's just the one and only time it's safe to drink seat water. Sea yeah. water is just filled with molasses. It's full. Of, it's pretty much molasses. It's like a when you get a drink and the ice melts. It's more of just the drink watered down. It's molasses yeah. watered down. Super watered down. It's like salted caramel, but it's salted molasses. So you say caramel and not caramel. Yeah. We're not going to have a fight right now. I promise. We might. Okay. I say I know people will have an issue with it, but fuck you. That's how you say it. I mean, I, I say it differently in different situations. Mm-hmm. If it's like salted caramel, like caramel on my ice cream. I always say caramel. I put the caramel on it and like it gets hard and it's a hardened shell and then you break it open. Yeah, it's delicious, but it's yeah. caramel. 
Anyways, we just got a, a very weird tangent I just put us on, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll fight you to the death over that word. Um, I think that's all I have for that one. Do you want to go into... Like people can't say aunt correctly. You want to move on to the next one? <laughs> yeah, I have uh, Florida Man up next. Okay. I have and then six we'll end with one. the other story. That works. Yeah, and then we go into the final story. All right. Um... Florida man accused of exposing himself several times tells police officers he's just an asshole. <laughs> I guess he's honest. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Sir, why did you do this? I'm, I'm just on me, man. Do you know the song, I'm an Asshole? I think I've heard it before. There's a comedian that sings it, and it's hilarious. It's a... <laughs> I don't remember all the lyrics, but it's, I just love it. It was like, because I'm an asshole. Oh, it just <laughs> goes off. Yeah, this, I mean, this guy was like arrested. And you're like, why did you do this? And you're like, fucking, no, I'm an asshole. Me. What do you expect from, I'm, yeah, it's me. I'm going to. He walked uh, in. He, he smacked the books out of the fucking police officer's hands. I'm an asshole. And started walking <laughs> by like he was a cool guy. He's like, no. You think when he did it, he was also exposing himself and he, like, spread his cheeks open? I'm an asshole. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> like he's Ace Ventura. He's like, let me ask you a few questions. Um, let's move on to the next one. Next, <laughs> um, I'm going to skip this next one because I want to do this one last. Mm-hmm. Um, Bryce thinks he's got a good one, apparently. But yeah, this is a good one. This is a very Florida Ooh, man. Your hand just popped. I heard that. It's. I mean, it's still in place. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not feel it. I didn't even feel it. Um, the next one's a first for us. Uh, we're the first Florida boy. The fine boy. Are we talking Ten like... Ten years old. Okay, cool. I was like, because it's a teenager, it's like, he's smart enough not to be stupid. For Florida boy arrested for throwing a rock at a bus driver's head. Was he in the bus? Or, okay, yes. so it makes more... <laughs> I don't know why when you said it, I was like, well, there's two ways it can go. It could either be... He's in the bus and throws it, or he's outside of the bus, and he has a really good aim as the bus is flying by and he nails it. He's like, I gotta time this right. I missed yeah. every other day. <laughs> yeah, so he, this 10-year-old was arrested for throwing a rock. Well, a I, rock. I have the details on it if you want it. Okay, I, I, I so, wish to know how big this rock is. So it was two rocks. Oh, okay. Uh, so he he brought extra ammo to make sure yeah. he didn't miss. Uh, the first one hit her in the back of the neck. Ooh. And that hurt. Second one hit her in the temple, and it bruised her face. <laughs> no, the worst part is I don't know why. Just re- like it hits her, and then she just passes out on the wheel, and the bus just starts flying down the street. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're in speed. Yeah, it's exactly. It's speed the movie. <laughs> so there's kids waiting for the bus, and it just flies the fuck by. So uh, when he asked, when asked why he did it, he was like, "Ah, she was being a fucking annoying." <laughs> <laughs> no, he looked at him and he's like, I'm an a-hole. He can't say ass. <laughs> he's too young to say ass. He's like, I'm an a-hole. <laughs> or a butthole. He uses butthole. He, sits, he goes right after the other guy sits down. Why'd you do this? You know me, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually his son. Uh. <laughs> so, this, yeah, he's currently in juvenile detention mm-hmm. uh, for for... Because he hit her in the temple. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a hit. That's an aim, actually. Because if yeah. you hit him in the back of the neck, that means he had to have moved to hit him in the temple. Yeah, and if you hit someone, I'm not sure if it's true. Mm. I heard if you hit someone in the temple hard enough, it could kill him. I think if you hit anybody anywhere hard enough, you can kill him. Well, but yeah, yeah, I think temples because they're sensitive spots. Yeah, and I feel like you know that what I, was close. You know what I heard actually recently? I heard you know how they have the. Uh, the uh the rumor that if you get punched in the nose, your the bones in your nose will go up and stab you in the brain. Never heard that till now, but okay. Really, I've heard I've heard that all the time when I was uh, younger. I recently saw a thing that was like, nah, it doesn't happen. It's bullshit. If that was true, boxing would be a death sport. And I'm like, yeah, I guess it makes sense. They get punched yeah. in the nose a lot. Yeah, you, you've never heard that. No. Oh yeah, well, it's always a rumor that if you get hit in the nose. There's a where the where the peak of your nose meets. It would go in your skull and stab you in the brain and kill you. It's technically not yeah. supposed to be true, but I don't want to test it out to find out. <laughs> You're like, just hit me. Yeah, just hit me. <laughs> do it. I mean, we've got to test it. You know, we could probably test it with one of those. You know, those weird gelatin dummies they use like on Deadliest Warrior. Yeah. They could do it with one of those. That'd be kind of cool. I always on Deadliest Warrior. Is, is it the gelatin one, or they just is just straight up like dead pig? Yeah, exactly. No, they the, do both. 
It's like they use both. Yeah. It's like dead pig is a lot like human flesh. Hit it with a sword. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good work. I like I like the gelatin one more because it okay, this is gonna sound really dark. I like the fact that it bleeds, like they have fake blood yeah. in it. So it's when you see something and then everything just pours the fuck out of it. It's like that looks badass. When you cut a pig, it's kinda like okay. I think, that was I think- neat. I think the pig is to see how easy it is to cut through some someone, mm-hmm. and the thing in the the gelatin one, it's like is, intestine is, damage, yeah, the internal damage. Oh, okay. So like, all right, you you can see this eye is now in his chin. He did a lot of work. <laughs> his tooth went from his no, from his feet. I mean, sorry, from his feet. From his feet. <laughs> cut that out. No, I'm leaving that in. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> it, went, it goes from his mouth into his nose. <laughs> I am, I am, <laughs> Bryce, Bryce, from his feet, I'm, I am the king of lions, <laughs> <You were. laughs> I did a trivia game earlier the other day, and the answer was Lion King, for some reason I said king of lions, and I lost it then too, yep. <laughs> you can, have, you can tech, well not, not in your feet, but I, I mean, there's been, toenails are kind of the similar, like, structure, not the thinner though. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> you can have teeth in your. Uh... Do you want to move on, man? Yeah, because I don't want to finish this sentence. Yeah, I don't. I don't know where you're going with that. I'm like, well, I was going to go back to the remember the horror movie of teeth oh, that yeah, I was talking not, about. Let's, let's yeah, about last teeth. time I talked about that, people got upset. <laughs> so let's not talk about teeth anymore. <laughs> um. Oh God, please stop, please. Sorry. Please actually stop. <laughs> um. Florida man, uh, I just I just said Florida man. I didn't pick. I didn't know where we were, so I just said the word Florida man. We should be at the fourth one because you skipped the second one. Yes, uh, this one starts out differently. Okay. New York man. Wait, wait, we're switching states. Hear me out. It's it's going to get back to Florida. Okay. New York man pulls off four million dollar jewelry heist. Okay. Moves to Florida. Okay. Becomes Florida man. <laughs> then gets arrested. <laughs> I caught. Wait, I don't want to. I don't want to do this story because my friends up in Baltimore call me Florida Man now. Cause they're like, "Well, you live here now." I'm like, "That doesn't mean it. I don't. Wanna, I'm not Florida Man." <laughs> and I don't want to. I don't want to try and say anything because he's from New York, and I don't be like, "Well, he moved to Florida because that makes me a Florida Man too." <laughs> fuck that. If I get Bryce, if I get arrested, you make sure the papers say Baltimore Man. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to be Florida Man. Fuck that. <laughs> And specifically Baltimore. I don't want to be Maryland man. That's boring as shit. I mean, Baltimore. So we're talking about Baltimore. I showed you recently. The fuck you Baltimore the video? fuck you Baltimore video. I fucking love that video. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, there's a... I, th- I hope... I think it's, it's... It's fake, right? Oh, there's no way that's fucking real. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a fake <laughs> advertisement for a car dealership in Baltimore. And the car commercial starts out going, Fuck you, Baltimore! <laughs> <laughs> And I showed. I, I'm surprised you've never seen it. I have it. So it I showed was him so it. Good. <laughs> and he, and I, I, I've watched it several times since I've shown you. I feel like I've you watched it hundreds of times since you showed me. <laughs> it's literally. It's one of those commercials that you know, if they could get away with it, that would be a real commercial in Baltimore. I, I have to show you another one that was here. Mm-hmm. That I. That's, that's, fuck you, Florida. No, Aww. it's 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 just it's just fun because he's. The guy in it's so just awkward, mm-hmm. but he's like, I love this guy because he's like super genuine, but he's just super awkward. Mm-hmm. So he's like you. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, because we're talking about New York man now, yeah. not Florida man, we have skipped states. I refuse to call him Florida man. He okay. moved to Florida. Yes. And then did he get arrested for the jewelry heist or did he get arrested for something else? Jewelry heist. Like another jewelry heist or the same jewelry same heist? Same one. Honestly, if you do something like that, you think you do the, uh, if you're going to do something illegal, don't go to Mexico because they will send you back. <laughs> they have a deal where they can go get you. You know, that's yeah. always a stereotype. Like, oh, I did a crime. I'm moving to Mexico. American can still come get you technically. Yeah. yeah. Move to Canada. <laughs> they can't come get, well, they can if they work hard enough, but it's a lot harder. Yeah. But yeah, why, why go to Florida? Why not go to like, if, well, okay, well, if you're going to stay in the States though. Yeah. I want to. So you just look at the map. New yeah. York is way up there. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't want to go west. It's a three-hour plane ride. If you didn't want to go west, go south. If you want to stay in the States. Nah, but if you want to stay in the States, I wouldn't move I wouldn't move to any of the major states 
and I'm about to say something that's going to yeah. probably piss people off. And by major states, I mean the ones people can actually name. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you go to, like, a tourist from a different country, like, they know New York, Florida, California, yeah. Texas. You move to somewhere in the fucking middle. South Dakota. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it works. Or like Montana or some yeah. shitty place like that where no one lives. It's just fucking farmland. Move somewhere like that where they don't have internet service. <laughs> I'm, okay, well, let's preface this. We don't hate these states. We, I'm, we're, He's making a point of like the tourism isn't big in those states. Go there. Fuck those states. Fuck it. <laughs> why, why would you just... This, this is a weird di- hill to die on. This is... <laughs> I like dying on this hill. <laughs> okay. We have too many states. We need to just combine them all. 50 states are too many. North, North Dakota, yeah, Canada. It, <laughs> it pretty much is. Okay. There's nothing there. Name me something that's there. In Canada? No, in North Dakota. Oh, no, I don't know. That, exactly. No, I can't name the, the capital. <laughs> Neither would I can't name the capital North of Dakota anywhere. North city. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Honestly, for the longest time, I'm... We just talking about from Maryland. I used to think Baltimore was the capital. It's not. It's probably the most well known city there. Mm-hmm. Not the fucking capital though. Where's the capital? I don't fucking know. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's like, I really <laughs> didn't learn. It's literally like if you ever do like uh, video games, you create your own character, and they want to. Where are you from? If you choose Maryland, it's the capital in Baltimore, and that's it. Because <laughs> they're the only two ones that count. Um, for Ohio, it's uh, Cincinnati, Columbus, and maybe Toledo. Uh, it's Cleveland. Is What's in one. Ohio? Uh, like important. No, I mean like important <laughs> things or anything. Basketball. He should have moved to Ohio. It would have been a better <laughs> hiding spot than Florida. Yeah, there isn't like the tourist stuff in Ohio is sports. Mm. I thought they didn't you tell me they have like a lot of astronauts from Ohio. Yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> you sounded they, but, so sad with that. But NASA's in Florida. They don't have any sort... They have, like, museums... And about all, them. About them, but there's, like, not there's as cool there. as the NASA stuff here. Oh, okay. And there's stuff. This is where they it's live. It's cool. Let's move along. stuff. This is, this is his yard where he used to live. Okay. <laughs> this, is his, this is his house. He goes out the window, can you please leave? <laughs> I still live here. Oh, dude. I thought that was so weird. Speaking about, like, tours, I went to New Orleans and I did a tour. Mm-hmm. And it felt weird because we would go over to like these little historical little spots. Like this is where such such such, such used to live back in the day. Mm-hmm. Be like, but people actually live here now, so it's just a whole bunch of str- it's just a whole bunch of strangers looking in their house. Like, <laughs> oh look, it's like twenty four people each group, and there's like eight groups of these people. Yeah, and we're all like, oh look at their house, and they just kind of look out the window like all these people are here again. <laughs> they're looking <laughs> like, at us. Wow, they're watching twenty four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to do that back when I was uh, you watch I 24? To, no well okay. yeah that too but I'm talking about when I used to go trick or treating one of my things like if I could see the TV in your house I would always look back and like oh look at them they're watching I don't know the price is right or something like that but like oh because apparently I'm doing my trick or treating at 2 in the afternoon <laughs> hey they have like Jeopardy and stuff on Netflix now they do which is a weird choice honestly I feel like I think once you watch the episode you wouldn't watch it again it seems weird yeah we got really off track for a man who came from New York and got arrested. Yeah, we still have three more Florida men. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, next. Uh, Florida man arrested for going to collect his money and then also property damage. He was arrested for that. Collect his money? Like, was he actually owed money or was he yes. like, I'm going to get my money back one way or another? So and he, he walked in. He lived in this house with another person, roommates. Okay. They, they did renovations to it. Okay. And then he moved out and he was like, I did these renovations out of my own pocket. Can I just have the money for him? Mm-hmm. And the guy was like, no. So, so he's like, fine. So he went over to the house, and he, so he's like, I'm going to take all this stuff out. <laughs> hey, that's his shit. I don't fucking care what you say. I know. Uh, don't. Took, it, all right. He took the stuff out and also broke a bunch of other shit. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, insurance. It's in, it's in t- uh, come tax. It's in t- <laughs> so he went through and he broke out like the storm windows and like all, like, a bunch of like a big portion of the uh, garage door and stuff like that. Price, he walked in, so you can't stop this storm. Bam! <laughs> broke the windows. Storm Jeremy's in the house. <laughs> I Seems to have a lot of now. wind breeze coming in. <laughs> There's going to be a front. <laughs> Other weather terms. <laughs> <laughs> you gave up so fast. I don't know too many weather terms, man. I'm not a... Whatever the fuck they're called. I was going to say neurologist. That's not right, though. That's not right. Meteorologist. <laughs> Meteorologist. Even though it has nothing to do with meteors. Ah, 
it's just so much meat to yours. <laughs> um, Florida man says he smashed car windows because Trump owes him one trillion dollars. How much is a win- does an actual car window cost? Like Not to one have trillion dollars. Yeah, I know, but how many would you have to smash to get to the equivalent of one trillion dollars? Um, I don't know. The only time I had to replace one, uh, it was covered by my insurance. Insurance, yeah, so mine too. I don't know. That's probably like probably a couple hundred. Oh, that's a lot of windows. <laughs> yeah, he, he went. You better get started. He went through an uh, entire parking lot and just smashed like every window. <laughs> and then he blamed us like Trump owes, owes me money. money. <laughs> well, Trump should give it up. He can afford it. He's rich. <laughs> he has one small loan of a million dollars. <laughs> I, I don't know where to go from that because was he smashing with, do you know if he was smashing with his hands or did he have like a hammer or? I I, it, I looked at it and it didn't say what I think probably it was like rocks mm. I didn't see what he was smashed with he got him from those kids from the bus he stole the rocks <laughs> the kid just missed yeah. really far the first he actually threw three rocks <laughs> he broke a window and then I was like this is how Trump's gonna pay me back and he takes the rock out and starts smashing the rest of the windows <laughs> you know, you do you think something? he broke Okay, it was just the windshield was all the windows on the car. Like, he went around the car and broke it's all It's a car them. windows when I looked it up, so I assume it was a mixture of all of them. Oh, that's a lot of windows. Yeah. That's a lot of glass. I don't know if it was, they broke all the windows in every car, but I think he just broke a mixture of all the car- windows. Mm. You want to go to the next one? Last yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Well, second to last one. That's the last one. You didn't do the second one, or is that? Or yeah. are you going back to that? Okay. This is the second one, which is the last one. Just making sure. This is what happens when you skip around. I know where I am. Just I don't. I can't see the screen. I got lost in New York, man. That was the last time I got lost. Uh, okay. Because I was looking for Florida, man. I'm like, I don't see Florida, man. For the Get next lost week. in New York. You're home alone, too. <laughs> don't start doing the John Mulaney bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how would you get lost? It's a grid system. Um, it is. Yeah. So this is the most Florida, man, one this week. From my opinion. Sorry, can I interrupt you since we just talked about grid systems? Yeah. Going back to New Orleans. I was Because you don't drive anywhere in New Orleans. Once you get there, you can just park your car because everything's so close to each other. Yeah. Uh, we were looking for, I want to say it was Walgreens or CVS. I want to say it was Walgreens, though. We couldn't see it. Literally, the first day, we're like, I don't know where the Walgreens is. We're yelling at each other, me and my family. A homeless lady walks up and she goes, it's right there. Are you blind? It's right there. And she's just yelling at us. And we're turning around. We're like, oh, it was literally right behind us. <laughs> it, literally. <laughs> you know, like those comedy movies where it's like, I don't know where the Statue of Liberty is. And it's behind them. Yeah. It was like that. Like we turned around <laughs> like, oh, and we just walked in the building. <laughs> the you only know, time we've ever pissed off a homeless person. They're like, just get the fuck out of here. It's over there. <laughs> just leave. I don't even want any money. Just you know, go. I feel like. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. It seems like you guys just were struggling. <laughs> oh, dude, we were. We're, we're. we're the type of people that, if we don't know where anything is, we'll struggle, but as soon as we figure it out, we become assholes. Like, what do you mean you don't know how to get here? What are you, a fucking Taurus? <laughs> you say your second day there. Yeah, exactly. That's how I was when I moved on floor. I didn't know where anything was. Once I know where stuff is, I'll start driving. I'm like, why the fuck are you driving so slow? Maybe they don't know where they're at. They need to get the fuck off the road then. <laughs> But That's then, why you hate driving with me. Yep. Um, let's go to the last one. All right. We'll finally get there. Florida man and woman uh, arrested for DUIs on bikes. Uh, they then had sex in the back of the police car. Can you get arrested for a DUI driving bikes? Yeah. Well, yes. Wait, like motorcycles or like bicycles? Bic- bicycles. I don't think that's legal. I think you should be able to drive a bicycle drunk. What possibly are you going to run into that's going to hurt it? People. You can hit people with bikes. No, you hit one person with a bike and then you fall the fuck off of it. Either way, they're it's still drunken. Uh, public, is it? Is public intoxication? Yeah, that's legal? a thing. That's well, crime. there it is. That that makes <laughs> sense. I will take public intoxication. I will not take DUIs because uh, they were not driving; they were pedaling <laughs> under the influence. It's a PUI. <laughs> it's a PUI. It's a PUI. PUI. <laughs> it's PUI. No. Uh, so. Also, after they had sex, uh, the man es- escaped shortly after. He's like, I'm done. I got mine. You better get yours. And he left. <laughs> you know, he's like, all I was here for was this. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I remember I watched a video where uh, 
they're arresting this guy. They put him in the back of the car. And they're doing it like in a, uh, it's like a neighborhood. People are like in apartment complexes. Yeah. And it just comes this guy walking nonchalantly. The police officers aren't paying him any, never mind. He walks over and he just opens the door and the guy just fucking starts hightailing it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's looks so, cause the police officers look at him like, he's fine. He's not going to do anything as he just opens the door and both of them take off in different directions. <laughs> it's hilarious. I mean, <laughs> that's why you always make sure nobody gets near your police car. Yeah. I, I always so super how long did it last? Was it the whole car ride? I I assume not because he's able to escape from the car. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that's why he had to get out because she was upset. <laughs> like, Only five minutes, you <laughs> motherfucker! He's like, I'm out of here. See, I'm I'm amazed that don't they handcuff them first, or are they not handcuffed back there? Well, they don't use handcuffs anymore. They use zip ties. Remember? Oh, well, either way, they're still restrained. I think it depends on how violent you're, you are at the time. Like, if they go, okay, come on, get in the car, I think they would just let you sit in the car. Yeah. Like, if, as long as you're not, like, thrashing around. I think if you have to be, if you have to be restrained, they will restrain you. But if not, they will just put you in the car. Yeah, I'd... Yeah, because, at least that's what I think. Surprise, I'm not a cop. I don't know how it works. Surprise, I've never been arrested. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Bryce has been arrested. Yeah, you have. <laughs> uh, uh, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I imagine they probably weren't. I imagine... Cause cause they especially because they were drunk, they're probably like, they're harmless and they just threw them in. If they were, that's twice as impressive. You can fuck being restrained. People do it all the time. I know, but like, like getting to the point you were able to. If your hands are... Behind your back. back yeah, all right, my button's in the front. Well, maybe they didn't have... But maybe they were in like sweatpants. So it was way easier... <laughs> Or maybe, or maybe he just kind of jiggled out of his front hole. Is like, all right, perfect. <laughs> that's why it's there for. Her. Uh, this is all... a weird fucking story, dude. Yeah, I'm glad is, you saved it for episode. the end. <laughs> it's a weird episode. For, it's only gonna get weirder. I'm not gonna lie. Why? Because there was the last story weird that we're about to do. Yup. All right, fine. Let's get into it then. All right. The, uh, hey, Derek. Did you hear about this? Did you hear about uh, Cabal Speen River? The what Speed River? Cabal. Cabal? I'm guessing that's an area. Uh, yeah. It, okay. well, actually, Cabal Spin is a different language. It's in Cam- Cambodia. Oh, okay. That's why... It, it's. Anyways. Um, <laughs> so, Cabal Spin is a river in northeast Cambodia. Okay. Um, as, where is that? Uh, it's Africa? Somewhere. I don't know where for sure. It better be in Africa. You sound like a racist. Uh, yeah. It'd be in Spain or something. Uh, it's Asia fucking racist damn it <laughs> a surprise I don't know where countries are don't worry I barely know where America is I'm like yeah we just discussed where's South Dakota that's over it's here by, it's, it's by New York right <laughs> it's the north south over there right alright so the river yeah so the river um the river is a Cabal Spine river uh it has a ton of small carving of the statues uh, laid throughout the entire river okay um, like inside the river or like off to the sides of the river? Some of it the water goes over top of, some of it's along the sides. Okay. Um, the majority of the carvings and statues are of a, a lingam and a yoni. Do you know what those are? It sounds like an urban legend. Uh, lingam and yoni are symbols Okay. that they say have to predate every religion okay. to most languages. Okay. Um, but they were adopted by like Hindu and... Uh, Hindu is the one we're talking about, but that's other religions that also adopted it. Okay. In Hindu, the symbols are for Shiva and Bhavarti. Shiva uh, destroys what Bhavarti recreates. They represent destruction and regrowth of all things. Okay. Um, they say when the symbols are combined, when the the lingam in, is inside the, the yani, which is along the river some points, the world is in balance. Okay. Um, so I want you, I'm going to describe the symbols to you so you can have it combined. So it's like the yani is a, is like a square. The bottom line is divided in thirds. And the middle section is taken out. With like little like little squares on the bottom? No, so it's one big square. Okay. And uh, the, the middle set the middle the bottom one mm-hmm. is divided in thirds and okay. the middle section is taken out. So it's like this. So it's like there's no bottom middle portion. Okay. And then the lingam is just a circle in the middle of that. Okay. Um 
So it's like a it's like a ball trying to get out of a yeah. out of a box. Yeah, it's perfectly it's the, the the size of the lingam is perfectly sized to get out of that space. Okay. Um, it's like ball in a cup. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, the God King of Cambodia is, is the history of God Kings. Um, they decided to have those carved into the rocks to uh, purify the water. Okay. Make it like almost holy water. Okay. Um, nowadays, hotels put the Lingdam Nyani in their pools to purify the water there. Um, do you... So you have that... So I'm, I'm getting it. They're statues and, they, and they're considered to be so holy that they can pure the... At least make the water pure so evil spirits cannot get to it or evil presence cannot get to it. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you... Um, do you know what Shiva's symbol is? You know what Shiva rep- is or anything? Didn't you just him? say it was one of the squares or the circles? Sh- Shiva is a god in Hindu. Okay. He uh, he has one of the symbols as a lingam for him. I really don't know what Shiva looks like because when you said it, I thought it was Shiva's, a female name. So. Shiva is like this big buff dude. He like, destroys stuff. He's like the, the most... The juggernaut? Yeah, he's like the most alpha. Okay. Alpha male. And Pravati is his opposite. <laughs> it's just a skinny little dude? No, it's a, it's a woman. Oh, okay. And they're like, they're lovers and stuff. Okay. Um, so... So wait, the statue is... Is Shiva's on the bottom? Or Shiva on the top? Is he like holding Shiva, so her? So in the, in the symbol I described, Shiva's the circle. He's... Okay. And uh, Pravati is the square. The square. Um, it's for those broad shoulders. Uh, Lingam is... The, the, the statues of them are very... Um, they're very phallic-like. Wait, of Linda or Shiva? Uh, Lingam is the symbol. Okay. That's very. They're very phallic like. Okay. And Yanni is the counter. That's the square. Okay. Do you do you get it yet? Is he getting fucked by Linda? Is that what you're trying to get? Lingam to are me? Lingam. Lingam are dicks, and the Yanni are vaginas. Huh. This river has a thousands and thousands of just dicks. Oh, like, are they actually <laughs> shaped like dicks? Yes. Okay. <laughs> And what, so what you're telling me is, like, pools in the area have dicks in the, in yep. the water. <laughs> this is a long way to get to me for a dick joke. And it makes it funny because you say some of them are coming out of the water, so yep. they're, like, piercing the water. This is fucking weird. And this, you picture the square. Yeah. The circle's inside of it. Hmm. <laughs> so, like... The, Oh fuck! Literally, if you if you're running into it in See, like a the Hindus, canoe, the Hindus like it's not phallic. No, it's for fertility. It's 100 percent phallic. <laughs> well, they go hand in hand. Uh, the Cobalt Spin is known as the, rouse, the the river of a thousand lingas. It's the river of a thousand dicks. <laughs> a thousand dicks. <laughs> oh god, I love this so much. Soon to be a thousand and one. There's one guy just in it. <laughs> they see the people in Hindu. They don't like. They're like very against. Like sex being like the main thing or whatever, mm-hmm. but it's since it predated like religion. Like the first, like some of the first statues were of just like women's bodies and like yeah. pregnant women's bodies, and it's like it's cl- it, it's a penis. Yeah, it's but, clearly a penis. <laughs> well, back back in the day, they weren't really worried about stuff like that. You know, so yeah. remember they people way back in the day just just walk around naked at that point or like <laughs> loincloths and all that. So they they so, didn't really care about huge dicks coming out of water. <laughs> There, you think there's one of a fountain where it's the dick, but like water streaming out of it, um, so it's like shooting up. Are you about to show me a picture of one I'm of about these? To, I'm about to look up the. Co- I'm, look, I'm going to show you the, the pictures of the the uh, the river. Um, <laughs> if people are listening, look it up. Look these up, so you're not just like, oh, you're just talking about. No, they're talking about like, dicks. It's like, they're. It's like clearly, they're just like, <laughs> just a bunch of dicks. <laughs> just <laughs> shit. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of dick. Stick. Good Sorry, saying, I Mike. know, I know. Did, did... <laughs> Look at it, it's just a bunch of dicks. <laughs> Honestly, that's not what I was expecting. Mm-hmm. For some reason, in my head, you know, like water rapids. I imagine like water rapids, but <laughs> with big tops. dicks coming up. Yeah, I can see. I see <laughs> Bryce. Bryce is very interested in this dick story. Apparently, dude, I I saw this and I'm like, oh my god, it's a bunch of dicks. <laughs> Wait, what's this one? What's that? Uh, I think it's nearby. Is that a snake? It's a tree. Oh, okay. I thought that was a snake. That's nearby. Um, There's a bunch of snakes in that water. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, so that's like other carvings and stuff. It has like people of like actual people and they have like some weapons and like just like decorative. 
How well, darn as interesting. Bring up more dicks. It's just straight up just penises. <laughs> this is weird. Hey, Amen. Uh, the this... weirder part is I'm gonna have to fucking talk about it later. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bryce. You you ruined one of my days. I don't know which one it is in the future, but I'm gonna have to fucking deal with that shit. Um, if it makes you feel better, man, while looking up this story, I found another story we're gonna do later. <laughs> is it about dicks? Maybe. Oh fuck. <laughs> Don't worry. So one thing we can't get away from in this show is people getting assaulted by sandwiches and dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Almost every other Florida man story we've done every other episode has somebody getting attacked by a fucking sandwich. Uh, don't worry, man. I do not remember doing any of those for the next couple episodes, so it should be fine. Good. The dick thing, though, that's going to come <sighs> to haunt us. <laughs> I don't want to be haunted. Uh, haunt. <laughs> A haunting dick. Yes, we're haunted by dicks. Bryce, I don't know why I just thought Count Dickula. (laughs) It's just the the dick and balls, but it has like the it has like the widow's peak and and little teeth coming out of it. It's just Count Dickula. It's just Count Dickula. Whenever we do this episode, it cuts to him. He's like he says on my chalkboard, just puts another tally mark up for an episode we talked about dicks. No, the worst part is he doesn't want to suck your blood. He goes, "I want you to suck me." Man, so that's me. I'm happy this is coming out this month. It's close enough to Halloween. We can make we can make stupid Dracula jokes. Man, <laughs> Dickenstein, uh, <laughs> creature from the Dick Lagoon. Hey, that works. We can put that there. They're in the water. Uh, Bride of Dickenstein. <laughs> that's the laziest one so far. <laughs> Fuck you. I can't think. It's hard to make Universal monsters sound like that. You right. think of one. Fucking no. genius. <laughs> Harry Pooter. That's not universal, but sure. <laughs> Just because it's in the park doesn't mean it's universal. <laughs> okay, so do you want to wrap it up? A mummified dick. <laughs> it's got like the little bandages around it. It's the invisible dick. A visit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching the roast of Alec Baldwin. Yeah. It had uh, Caitlyn Jenner on it, so I wanted to make that joke just now. Okay. That's the invisible dick. Okay. No longer has it anymore. All right, let's wrap. Let's, <laughs> let's finish this episode before we get more people mad. <laughs> cool. Why? She's cool with it. She likes those jokes. At least she did on the show. Okay. So, before we go into the final, did you hear about this? Let's wrap things up with some little house cleaning. Uh, shout out to Young Walnut for letting us use his song for our intro and outro. Go check him out on YouTube and SoundCloud. Um, if you have anything, stories we want to do, you can go ahead and tweet us at Die Hat Podcast. That's D Y H A T Podcast. You can also email us at diehatpodcast.com. Um, if you, yeah, if you want stories you want us to cover, please send them in. I don't want to keep doing things people don't want to listen to. <laughs> Yeah, because they really don't want to listen to f- more dick stuff. I don't know. I feel like there's a, at least a portion that's like, yes, I love dick stories. You ever watch Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Uh, not like religiously, but oh, there's there's passing. a there's a character that switches like forms each time. Like one time it was a cheeseburger, and then mm-hmm. one time it was a tooth. Yeah. And he, every time he goes back to his planet, he goes go back to cheeseburger planet, go back to tooth planet. There's one where he's a big dick. Go back to dick planet. <laughs> We are we are the gods of Dick Planet. I don't I don't want to be. You can have that mantle. I don't want it. I'll take it. <laughs> sure. You take the whole thing, not just the tip. You know. You hear? <laughs> oh God! All right, let's get to all this these final jo- thing. All these jokes are gonna come back up when we do that other story. Oh, fuck me! Uh, don't fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's. Uh, you ready for the last one? No, for sure. I promise, it's not about dicks or sandwiches. Okay. Uh, hey Derek, did you hear about this? Did you hear about Michelle's runes? Is that a person? Uh, I don't know if Michelle is a person. I think it's the location. Like they said, they okay. Location. So, archaeologists discovered these inscriptions on the wall of a Viking chamber. Okay. Um, they were 14 feet up in the air on All the right. ground on the wall, and they they didn't have the language, and from the, nobody knew the language, they had to uh, translate it. Mm-hmm. it took years to translate this eventually years later they're able to translate it um and do you know what it said please tell me it was like a knock knock joke or something stupid like that yep it said this is high 
<laughs> this is very high. I don't trust that translation. <laughs> I don't think that's correct. I don't know. I feel like if if it was fourteen feet up in up yeah, the ground. I know, but I don't think anybody's wasting their time back in the day to make a joke <laughs> like that. That seems like a complete waste of time. I I, I think yeah, I think they did it right. <laughs> That's one of those things that's like, you know, when aliens finally come in and find us when we're all wiped out, we don't exist anymore, they're going to find all the cat videos. They're like, the fuck is this? That's what that is. They're like, it's high. No shit. They better have found one on the ground and said, this is low. They better. <laughs> and it has a picture of, uh, what's his name? The guy from Sesame Street that was like, this is, this is close. Far. Uh, I didn't watch a lot of Sesame Street. You're on your own. Count Dicula, you fucking don't know because Sesame Street. <laughs> I don't. Literally, I don't. The only thing from Sesame Street that I like is uh, is Oscar. <laughs> That's the only one I like. Do you emotionally relate to Oscar? Yeah. Because inside we are all garbage. <laughs> no. You want to hear something? Okay. You want to hear something fucked up? This is going to be the end of the episode. I just hope you're aware of that. All right. That's fine. Oscar the Grouch. Yeah. You know who Oscar the Grouch is. Everyone yes. does, even if you don't know who Sesame Street is. Sesame Street came out with a character. There was like, oh, this is going to be the first homeless Muppet. And everybody got, everyone in there like, wait a second, what about Oscar? What about him? <laughs> he lives in a fucking trash can, for God's sake. <laughs> it's like, you fucking sons of bitches. No. Help him this, out. This entire time, he had a house. It's he in doesn't the garbage. sleep in there. Yeah. Because oh, he, no. he has a full house. He doesn't like to sleep in there. He sleeps in the garbage because that's what he likes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> One more weird thing about Oscar. You know, um, uh, they just open up the new thing at SeaWorld where they have the uh, yeah. Sesame Street land. They have Oscar there. Yeah. But somebody thought, well, he has to be able to walk around. So it's Oscar. It's the garbage can yeah. and Oscar on the top. And then there's like green legs that come out the bottom. And it's like, <laughs> that just looks weird. <laughs> give him pants. Yeah. Just give him pants. Give him anything. Fine. It seems, it just seems, because it looks like he's like, you know, people used to wear the barrels. Yeah. It's like that, but it's a like garbage can. <laughs> End it. So I'm- <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> Talking about Oscar the Grouch and fucking Count Diculus and shit. I don't even know where we're going anymore. I want to get off this train. <laughs> this is the weirdest episode. Fuck. <laughs>